Hi guys, uh, so I just wanted to work through a practice problem for you related to chapter 7 and costs. Uh, so this problem actually comes from practice quiz or practice test 7a. So this wasn't a problem that you were assigned, uh, but I think it highlights a couple of important features about relationships between these different cost curves. So I think it's one worth taking a look at. So in this particular problem, uh, we have a firm with two plants and we're given the firm's total cost curve for each of those plants. So we have C1 and C2. And then we're also given the marginal cost curve for each of those two plants, MC1 and MC2. And what we're asked is, at what output level is the average cost minimized in each plant? So we can do this separately. We can look and ask in plant one, uh, what output level or what quantity will minimize uh, average total costs and then we'll, we can do that separately for plant two. So uh, first of all what you'll notice is that we have total costs and we have marginal costs but we're not given average costs and um, there's a, a pretty simple relationship between total costs and average costs uh, so to find our average total costs, we just need to take our total cost function and divide it through by Q. So we're going to have ATC1 is going to be equal to C1 over Q, which is going to be equal to 0.25 Q squared minus 6q plus 40. Right? And this relationship isn't at all unique to costs, right? This is just simply how we define any type of average. It's just the total of whatever it is that you're adding up uh, divided by the quantity that you're adding up. So our average total costs are our total cost divided by quantity, which gives us this function here. And we want to find the quantity at which this this average total cost is minimized. And in order to do that, we're going to rely on an important relationship between average total costs and marginal costs. And so graphically what that relationship looks like is this. So with quantity on our horizontal axis and costs on our vertical axis, our average total costs are generally going to look something like this. It has this U shape. And then our marginal cost curve is going to look like this. And it's always going to be the case that marginal costs intersect average total costs right here at the minimum of average total costs. And this is the point that we're trying to find in this problem, right? We want this this Q right here. And this graph is our key to how we're going to find that. So we're just going to look for the point at which marginal costs equal average total costs. We just found our average total costs and the problem gives us our marginal costs. So we can see here our marginal costs are given by this equation. And so we'll just set those equal. So MC1 equals ATC1, which means that we get 0.75Q squared minus 12Q plus 40. That's our marginal cost 1 equals our average total cost 1 is just what we already found up here. And so we set that equal to 0.25 Q squared minus 6Q plus 40. And now we just want the Q, the quantity that solves this equation, and that will be this Q star here. All right. So we just need to do a little bit of algebra to find what that is. So looking at this equation, we have a 40 on both sides. 
so those cancel out. I'm going to subtract the 0.25q squared from both sides, which leaves us with 0.5q squared over here. And then I'll add 12q to both sides, which is going to leave me with 6q over here. Then I can divide both sides by q, which leaves me with 0.5q equals 6. And then I just divide both sides by 0.5 or, in other words, multiply both sides by 2, and I find that q is equal to 12. All right, and that would be the answer to this first part of the problem. 12 is the quantity that minimizes the average total cost at plant 1. To answer the second question, you would do the exact same thing using the equations for plant 2, and just carry out all those same steps. And then the last question asks, at what output level does the average cost of plant 1 equal the average cost of plant 2? Well, if you've already done these two steps, then you already know the equation for average total cost at plant 1. We already found that here. You could find average total cost at plant 2 in the same way. And this, this question here is just asking us to set those two things equal and solve for Q. So if you were to do that, you would end up with this answer here of 6.9.